got bubbles? Oh, yeah. All right, we got bubbles. She's home. Oh, yeah, she's there. Full disclosure, we're a little bit nervous on the sponge suck back there because if you look up right there, that yellow tape on that elbow there, yeah, we caught a plug earlier in the day and uh, put a little a little split right at the flange of that elbow. We were able to patch it up and get the job done. It was it was not a major major. We had about uh, five loads to go when that happened. So we were a little worried about losing a vacuum to pull the ball back. Anyhow, she's home. There's the culprit. You know I'm gonna peel that off of there and have a look. Well, we're in here. Let's see how clean our pipes are. Oh yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Let's see our elbow now. And that, friends, is the old school repair. You got several layers of duct tape. You got your, try to do this one handed here. Coca Cola can. Coke can of orange. There we go. There it is. There's the thumbnail right there. So what's the CSI on this is? Wow. Yeah, it's actually a good elbow. Yeah. There's still a ton of meat left on it. It's just a premature failure. Wow. Look at that. It's really not very worn at all. Otherwise. Interesting. How's that for a failure? Yep. All right, see so here we are the next day in the shop. Let's get a little better look at this, a little closer look at this thing. And I got the uh, the digital caliper here too, so we're gonna take some measurements on this. But if we flip this around here, like so, shine a little light in there. Actually, it's a better better look from the other side, I think here. Look at that. That is insane, the way that dished out like that. And if we put our caliper on here, love this caliper by the way. Let's measure, and like I said, this is a nearly new elbow, so let's measure what we've got. So on this end, we've got almost seven millimeters. Almost seven millimeters thick. Let's check the other side here. Check the area where it didn't blow. Seven millimeters, we'll go around here. Almost eight millimeters. We come into here. It's down to the thickness of the liner. Isn't that crazy? do one more measure in here almost seven as well so an otherwise nearly new elbow 
the dished out one little spot and it's in such an interesting spot there it's it's not even if it was hit with a hammer a there would be more damage to the paint around here and it would be dented in there'd be a, a dent about yay big but with the raised up flange here it'd be really tough to get to get a, the head of a hammer in there so my thoughts are when this is welded is this welded after the cci liner is installed if so did the heat from the weld wreck the hardness of the cci liner and that's why it came apart right here I don't know, this is it's definitely a little bit of a mystery what do you guys think let me know what you think uh, i will say this is not this is not a conforms piece so we do know that so yeah what do you figure happened here that's the thing with the twin wall stuff sometimes there can be some some random inconsistencies like this um but you know when it works it works when it works it's a 80 to 100 thousand cubic meter part for us whereas a cast unit would be maybe 30 thousand so yeah what do they say s-h-i-t happens and i think this is just one of those cases so let me, let me know in the comments have you seen something similar to this what did you trace it back to to get to figure out exactly what it was but i'm thinking heat from a weld creating a soft spot would be my guess so let me know all right so here we are we're able to dig up a few samples of elbows here a few different examples here's the failed elbow that we took off of the machine here is a brand spanking new version of the exact same elbow, brand new piece. And here is a Conforms offering of a, um, a similar type of elbow. And this is Conforms, uh, their mid-grade. They do actually carry an elbow that is one level higher than this one as well. So on the elbow that failed, as you recall, in the non-failed area, oh, let's, let's boot up our caliper here minor technical difficulty okay the area which did not fail we are at about 6.3 millimeters and a new one a new one measures at let's see here in the same area right about nine millimeters. So that actually did have some pretty good wear on that. Um, that elbow wasn't as recent as I thought. Uh, that being said, six millimeters is still a lot of material left. There should be lots of life remaining in that. Now let's have a look at the brand new Conform piece and see what it measures out at. What does it give us here? 13, almost 13.3 millimeters of material. Wow. I'll do a secondary measurement. 13 there. Almost, almost 16 there. And these pieces, just to be fair, just to double confirm here, but 9.3 on the bottom, about eight on the top. And this one on the bottom was, Still lots of meat on the bottom and that top area. Let's get in right close to where it failed here, close as possible. Come on, baby. About two. Just double. Oh yeah, you know, there's a better, better spot in there. There we go. Oh my gosh. Right near the failure, we're down to. We're down to 0.6, almost a half a millimeter thin. And the outer shell, the mild steel outer shell, should be two millimeters thick on this. So as you can see, as soon as that liner, as soon as the inner liner failed, and it was able to get at the outer liner, at the mild steel liner, it didn't stand a chance. Blew through in no time. So anyhow, some pretty good examples here. Um, kind of tells the story with the, the conform piece here, how much heavier that is. 
it is a way heavier unit it is the classic case of uh of get what you pay for a little bit more money um but i think i know uh i think i know what direction we'll be going in the future for sure on our uh our high high wear big booms that do a lot of yardage and a lot of volume so hopefully this helps uh helps some of you guys out there and i'll try and dig up a link for this caliper and I'll post that as well because this is really, really handy for guys with twin wall pipe. Um, as you can't use an ultrasonic for measuring those, the caliper caliper is kind of the only way. I highly recommend this unit right here. Keep on pumping. <laughs>